We Light has sent me their latest creation, this little baby here. This is the We Light WE9, and it has around about 29 different effects. And we are going to be testing it and see how good a quality of brightness and colour effects it actually has. So in this video, we're going to do the unboxing, and then I'm going to give her a proper test by turning off the studio lights, connecting my phone to this, and using my phone to do the recording and see how good a quality the lighting is just using this and you might think to yourself well why do i need one of them well if you're thinking about doing something like what i do youtube and stuff you do need good lighting and this would be perfect if you're going to be using your mobile phone or even if you're using an actual proper camera like i have right now at the moment but i am going to be testing it using my phone to see how good a quality it is and if it's good enough or as good as my studio lights with effects as well so with that come over here we'll do the unboxing see exactly what you get for your money assemble it, it should be quite easy to assemble and set it all up and have a little play about with it in order to save a little bit of time I've removed it from the box because there's not a lot to see around the box anyway so I took everything out so I'm going to quickly go through it and then I'm going to tell you some of the features and some of the things you can do with it. And then we're going to set it all up. So it comes with a warranty card, a little baby there, so make sure you fill that out. It comes with a manual and by the way, that's a very good manual. I'm quite impressed with that one. Easy to understand as what you need and several components which we're going to go through right now. USB for charging up the actual device itself because it has built-in battery. So it's a USB standard with a Type-C connection there. And that is approximately 1.5 metres long because I've measured it up already. Again, to save a bit of time. So we have a little ball joint in case you want to mount it and change the angle to dangle. That little baby there. A mount for your phone, which will go on there, like so. Okay, and then you just screw that down to hold it in position. And I will be using that in a bit. And by the way, it does fit my phone. A tripod. Yeah. So if you just want to use that. Or you can use this extender. This little look baby here. Actually, it goes around that way. Actually, it goes inside down. Like so would help guide it round the right way but there you go so like that and then you close that up like so and you can extend that so that will fit on a tripod if you need to okay and then that will take the ball joint if you need to and that will screw onto the back of that or onto the bottom of that I should say so a quick look around it it's made of mostly plastic but it does feel like very good quality plastic doesn't feel as though you dropped it on the floor and it's going to break. It feels as though it's going to, uh, you know, bounce back sort of thing. Right, functionality. So we have an on-off button. We have a USB 5 volt out. And basically what that does is, say your phone is running a bit flat and you need to charge it up. You can actually use this to charge your phone up, believe it or not. And I thought, well, that's a really good idea. USB Type-C connection for charging it up. A mode button and another mode button, this one here, and a dial. And that is basically it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to connect it to your phone. Because yes, it's got built-in Bluetooth, believe it or not. So we're going to go through that right now. So first things first, you need to turn it on. And also, while I'm turning it on, so you just hold that down for a couple of seconds. Also you can actually buy a remote control to control it. So if you don't want to use your phone, you can actually buy a remote control. In the instructions, there is a Q code. I recommend you don't use the Q code to download the app. I recommend you go to one of the app stores, type in We Light, like I've done here, and look for that picture, and then install it. And the reason for that is, unless you speak Chinese, it's not really a lot good to you if you download it from the Q code, that is. So right, so we have it, we have this up and running, we need to open this, there we go, and we need to set the channels and the group to be the same, 
we have channel 19 at the moment and group D so if you want to change the channel on here all you do is press channel and then you can select any channel you like I'm going to go for number 11 channel 11 press OK and we're going to go for group B right so that's that done now we need to change this it's quite easy to do hold this button down for two seconds get it flashing to want channel 11 to turn the dial get it on channel 11 that's done press this button here and change the group to B press the button again and job done now if you want to come out of that just press this and it's all set so this goes through some of the little features you can start with CCT so these are your different uh, strengths or brightness if you like what I'll do before we uh, do this bit is I'm going to turn off the studio lights so you can see it a lot better right can you see that okay so we have different strengths press these little buttons here and they will give it different strengths of light see that oops yeah custom custom means you can make your own okay turn brightness down things like that turn the light off altogether yes yeah so that's a uh, CCT just gives you a basic lot so you can do custom 8000k I thought it was very good actually and HSI is you can make your own colors so just by moving this around blue red yellow green light blues works extremely well white or light blue there you go yeah I was quite impressed and then we have scenes this little baby here so think like flash if we want it to flash and you can do slow normal or fast uh, welding it does a welding thing yeah, it's really good TV like someone watching the TV curves I'm not sure what these actually do curves but it says curves so there you go CTC not sure but it's doing something alarm so that'd be like your police or something like that or movie scene sitting there watching a movie again you can do fast slow rainbow that's probably just going to go through the colours or if you're in a bar birthday surf aurora aurora go through the colours I'm pretty sure of that yes yeah, see or it has a selection of colours already pre-programmed and it works really well it works extremely fast as you can see no issues and yeah first impressions I'm very impressed actually it's actually better than, than I anticipated fireworks right so I've gone through all that so if you want to use it for charging up your phone hopefully you never need to do that it's the same principle what I showed you earlier we hold this down for two seconds and you get that flashing then hold it down again for two seconds and please insert USB don't know what that does nothing and that's it and then just to come out just press that or that <laughs> yeah so far very impressed it's actually better than I anticipated I didn't expect it to be this good I didn't even have to put in 
the Bluetooth connection, it just worked. So I thought, oh, I'm going to have to put it in, uh, in my settings in Bluetooth, find it in there. But no, it just worked. As soon as I, as soon as I put in the right channel and the group, it just worked straight away. I like this one. Choose whatever colour you want. Right, so I'm going to set her up on a tripod and I'm going to connect my phone. I'm going to see how bright it is and how good an effect it can be using the actual device. So give me a second and uh, I will be back. Right, let's, uh, oh, hang on, let's do green, do green effect, like the Hulk. Let's see if I'm still recording. Hello, so this is the Hulk. <laughs> so I'm doing a Hulk. That looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah? Right, let's do, uh, let's do some flashing then, shall we? So, scene select, uh, filming. Fireworks, about fireworks. And so you get the idea of effects. Now if you want to point at something, you know, an object or something like that, you can. You just bend it like Beckham. <laughs> what else, what else? Birthday, don't know what birthday does. Not sure how that's a birthday, but there you go. Fairy tales, colour. Blue. I'm not sure if the camera can pick the colours up properly or not. So I'm just playing back a bit. It goes back here. White. Don't forget you can adjust the brightness as well. If it's too bright, you can just turn it down a bit. And that's the same on here as well, on scenes. So, uh, yeah, anyway. But let me know in the comments what you think, whether you think it's a good idea, bad idea, or something you're thinking about investing in. Let me know what you think. I think that, you know, for the amount of money it costs, and don't forget I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. So please check it out if you can. For the amount of money it costs, it's a really good gadget and really useful whether you're doing video recording or just using it for doing your makeup. If you're someone who just wants a nice light to do your makeup, you know, have a mirror in front of you. This could be the baby for you because you can just have it on a white light and do your makeup or brighten up the room if you need to, like now. And it's easy to control. If I want to just turn it off, that's it. Job done. Very easy to control. Definitely gets my thumbs up. Like I said, for the amount of money it costs, I think it's well worth the money. It's easy to set up whether you put it on the tripod that comes with it or whether you use a, a dedicated tripod like what the camera is actually on. This will actually connect to that tripod or even a light stand. Uh, and I'll quickly show you. Here's one of my lights, one of my studio lights, which is turned off by the way. And you can just connect it to that as well. So uh, very useful, comes with a lot of options, whether you're using your... Uh, controls on the back or whether you're using the phone app like I'm doing or you can actually go out and buy a remote like I said earlier so with that if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down please subscribe and uh, thank you we like for sending it to me ching ching I like it I think it's good for the gadget